Swamp Troll. Trolls are among the most adaptable creatures on the face of Cain. From the harshest desert to the most frigid mountain, no environment is too inhospitable, not even the most forbidding marsh. Lurking beneath the surface of the murky waters, swamp trolls are dangerous creatures able to swallow a man whole to fill their ravenous gullets. Unlike most other trolls, swamp trolls are amphibious and can remain beneath the water seemingly indefinitely, lying in wait. They will often adopt their posture near riverbanks or the shores of lakes where the hapless victims are abundant. Their huge, sticky tongues can strike from a shocking distance with surprising accuracy, dragging prey to an awful doom within their fetid bellies. Like their brethren, swamp trolls are accommodating eaters, as happy to consume unwary humans as they are to gorge themselves on fish or insects. Swamp trolls often accompany those creels that live near the Blood Smeeds Marsh, the Fen Marsh, and other wetlands. Until recently, they are rarely seen far from their dank homes, but now they regularly venture far afield in the service of the troll blood warlocks, who values the creature for their startling and unnerving capabilities. And yes, I feel like anything that shoots its tongue out and drags a fully grown man into its mouth to swallow whole is kind of terrifying, and I don't recommend anybody see that. And anybody that ever lived near the marsh or the swamplands, uh, they probably were told uh, lots of stories about, hey, be wary when you're near the uh, near the waters fishing or whatever you're doing, because these things can pop up pretty much anywhere. And I've also seen these particular guys run around with certain types of other swamp faring civilizations, like the Gatormen factions. Um, I'm not sure how, but I believe one of their more frog-like warlocks ended up being able to befriend these guys, uh, weirdly enough, but uh, anybody else that can get trolls is kind of terrifying, outside of the troll bloods themselves being a terrifying force to go up against. But let's read over his Mark 3 to Mark 4 changes, and I'm pretty sure there are at least a few most likely to just kind of balance them out because this guy's tongue attack is pretty devastating to begin with but let's look him over and as always let's start with the stat line he has his trample he has pathfinder because he's used to running around the swamps he has headbutt he has dual attack and he has amphibious uh, so while he is in water uh, he gains concealment and you can shoot through him as if he's not there because he sinks in uh, his abilities oh and he has dual attack not sure if i mentioned that probably just did his abilities he has regeneration because he's a troll so he can be forced to remove a d3 damage points from himself once per activation. And then he has snacking, so he can eat guys after he kills them. And he gets to remove a d3 damage points from himself. So the more guys you can get him to eat, the more he can heal himself up. And he's not a super expensive swamp trolls, because these guys are a dime a dozen. So Alrighty, one of the moves they remove from him is dual attack, because it's now a more standardized ability. Um... He no longer has impervious flesh, so when he suffers damage roll, he does not, uh, he cannot remove one of the damage die from him because he's he's not nearly as hardy as he used to be. Um, and then he sells regeneration, still snacking. So, outside of the impervious flesh, that's the only thing that's been removed from him so far. Well, let's check out his his weapons because that's where the crazy stuff comes in. But first, let's read his stat line because I completely shot right past that. He is a speed 5, he is a mat 5, he is a rat 6, he is a defense 12, arm 16, so I guess because of the removal of the, the tough skin ability or his impervious flesh, they increase his armor 2 more points from 14, so he's a little bit hardier. Uh, he has a fury of 3 and a threshold of 9, so yeah, he's got better armor, that's good, that's a that's major change. Alright, back to his weapon. His Tongue Lash has Critical Consume and Drag. It is a Rat 6, range 8, rate of fire 1, and a POW 10, and he can shoot it into melee. Uh, criticals Consume. On a critical hit, if the attack hits a small based non-leader model, that model is removed from play. So there's no body, no soul. He eats this thing whole, no questions asked. Terrifying. Then he has drag on this weapon, so if he doesn't automatically eat his his attacked model, it is dragged over to him, just in case. Um, so if this model hits an enemy model with an equal to or smaller base size than itself, 
the basic attack with this weapon immediately after the attack is resolved. The model hit can be pushed directly towards this model until it is contacted, until it contacts a model, an obstacle, or an obstruction. So if there's nothing in the way, he'll pull it right up to himself, and then he'll probably continue to take some wax at it with his claws. So yeah, if he doesn't automatically eat it, he'll pull it over to himself so he can get the better chance to do that himself. Uh, his claws are basic, uh, mat 5, range 1, pow 12s, and they're fist weapons so he can throw people. Um, not the most impressive melee weapons as far as war beasts go, but I feel like a lot of people that take this guy usually take him for his tongue lash so you can move people around the field of battle pretty easily if not eat them outright. His next animus is Swarm, which is a very useful animus to anybody that uses it. The spellcaster gains concealment, and then living enemy models suffer up minus two to their attack rolls while within two inches of the spellcaster. So this is just a good defense buff all around. Um, and at this guy's total cost of seven points to get him in, he's not a super expensive uh, war beast to pull into a group. And you know, giving swarm on a stick, being able to you know have him go up, go up against living models, and if he's next to his own dudes, then he gives them an additional you know. Give additional plus two defense basically while he's within two of them and then him himself gets swarmed so gets his defense up to a grand 14 which is still pretty impressive for a war beast so but yeah this guy is this guy is disturbing being eaten alive is a thing that you never want to happen but going up against trolls uh they usually eat dead things mostly if they're dead well we'll find out but let's 